Surio as that one sees St. Louis give up control and it's played through the middle and it's Ferrero who's in on goal and he scores! Number 46 for an FC Dallas star. Jesus Ferreira breaks the deadlock with just over 10 minutes left. You have a little wobble or a mistake. It's not as though you have time to make it up. For St. Louis, at the mistake, which leads to really well taken goal from Ferreira. It's very limited time to try and rectify. Here goes Jesus Ferreira. And then it's played all the way across. Farfan! It's two! I think each of the players, they complement each other because they don't make the same runs, they don't bring the same strength to the game. Robinson with a long ball there is Tyler Miller with a typical defensive action outside and a shot by Jakob Marcus finds the back of the net. Oh, for Tyler Miller, it's risk and reward and that time the risk results in Atlanta scoring the opening goal. They have numbers on a counter if they hurry, but it's snuffed out. Give it away though, Funtas. Taxi Funtas moving in, he has Benteke with him. Scores! Funtas levels the match at one. Oh, a costly giveaway by Atlanta in the middle of the field. Tiago Almada. Terrific ball for Gutman. Gutman fires, scores! Andrew Gutman, Tyler Miller got only a piece. And Atlanta erupts two to one. The five stripes back on top. Sadich, the return from Ibarra. Yakamakis with a terrific ball. This is Gutman. Andrew Gutman from where he scored earlier on the finish in front. Flag is up. That was Wolf who thought he extended the Atlanta lead. Good goal. Jackson Reagan going over the top and Christian Roll not in behind. It's as simple as that. One routine ball. Christian Roldan takes it down. And what a return to the first 11. Sounders have the goal, and it's been coming from minute one as well. Vargas, he's been involved a lot on this right-hand side. Westwood, good ball in, Sudersky making the run. Did he keep that one in play? Amazing bit of skill from Sudersky, and it's somehow smashed over the far post. But that's all about Sudersky keeping that one alive. Jalen Lindsay in the right position, but a moment of magic from Sudersky has helped Charlotte FC get level. Neymar, Christian Muldon. And there's that run in behind from Rosnack this time. He's going to get there ahead of Lindsay. Back for Leo Chu. Rui Diaz, nice turn. Sets up nicely, Rui Diaz! Oh my word, what a strike! How they've missed Raul Rui Diaz! Bender, a lucky chance to break here if they can launch this ball over the top of Reagan. Swiderski. Bender, good break from him. Ball out wide, Vargas. That one takes a deflection. Bender. Back for Westwood. On his right foot! Oh! Westwood says, I see what you've done, Rui Diaz. I can go one better. A top quality strike from Charlotte FC's midfielder. Has his level again. 2 2. Rampalo again. Good delivery. And Kalina came out. Had to make that interception as well. Really good angle on that cross. Rui Diaz, we're hearing he's one of the two about to be replaced. Christian Roldan may get a, a longer stay. Jao Paolo, that's at the far post! Rui Diaz 
if he is going to go off, his last act will be to give the Sounders the lead once again. Double on the night for him. He is red hot. Bronica. I'm told he has had exactly one touch so far. Nathan Byrne. Byrne delivers. Flick out of it! He's been a menace since coming on, Archie Man, and he got just enough of a touch to take that beyond step and fly. Under Garcia, but I, I, I go back to that injury issue, and it's, it's amazing how we've all these games we've covered, it seems to be the same case for a lot of these clubs, and just the depth issue can be a challenge for most. Here comes Mason Toy into the penalty area, a last second sliding tackle, rocks it into the back of the net. Mason Toy, his first start coming back from injury since early April, and he fires the home side in front. It might play to the advantage of Minnesota, obviously, with a Montreal side that played midweek. Come off a little bit, like you said, a little bit more clinical in certain situations. They're going to get their opportunities, but it's that transition game now. Montreal will have opportunities and see if they can do it here. Here's Ibrahim. Wait. Putting it across. Side for the good save by Sinclair, but the rebound shot is turned home. He will not celebrate, but he has a brace against his former team, Mason Toy. Goal number six on the year. And here is Carlos Hill against Dre. Callender sends him the wrong way. And the former league MVP has sent New England Revolution off and running. He's carried off here on 34 minutes. Before that, it was a corner. Long distance effort deflected, his heel swings it in. The header comes on, and it's the second goal. And it's Polster. Insult to injury for Inter Miami. As quickly, New England Revolution double the lead. Back in 2018 with Atlanta, hit for 31 goals that season. And a further four in the postseason. As he bends it in behind, Wood starting his run from an onside position. Wood is in the penalty area. Wood for three! And he continues his fantastic form in 2023. Already more goals with New England than he had with Real Salt Lake, his previous club. Sixth on the year, and New England are cruising at 3-0 up. By Andrew Farrell. Now some consolation could be on here for Inter Miami. It's Martinez against Petrovic, who saved five MLS penalties. Here's Martinez, and sending Petrovic the wrong way. And in, Joseph Martinez has given Inter Miami a way back into this one. They're at least on the board, a clean sheet gone for New England, as it's New England three, Miami one. They're trying to poke holes, mostly from out wide. Angulo, Ojeda. It's coming in again. Rafael Santos across the six. Kick save from Illich. Ojeda. Torres deflected and it's in! It came off Andreas Maxu! And Orlando City have the breakthrough! And over, waiting for runners. Out to Torres. Torres, Orlando looking to kill the game. Torres. There's the shot! And drilled in by the substitute! Daisy Cutter! 
With Klaus on the field at the same time? No. Okay. Interesting. We'll get more into that next week. And then Oh, Lorenzo Insigne! What a goal! That's what they've been waiting for from that man. He delivers. McCarty finds Bumbury. Bumbury sending it towards Mukta! Turnover space for Columbus and Cucho from distance. It's in the back of the net. And Columbus has found a way to get on the score sheet. Torres. Out wide for Navarro on the left. And for Shakiri, and it ties this one up. After no score in the first 45, can it be? You betcha! Oh my! Lucas Zellerion looked. Saw the keeper out, and that just might do it for Columbus. Nothing available for this match. They said, you know, we just understand that they're dangerous, and that's the most important thing. You know where the runs are going to come from. We don't care what they look like. We just got to find a result. It's promising for Quinones on his right, and a slight deflection to beat John McCarthy. Houston had been threatening. And he's drawn first blood. Bossy from the spot. It's buried. With his hands in his pocket, casual as you like. Sending John McCarthy the wrong way. He doubles the lead for Houston. It's Dynamo 2, LAFC 0. He's got help on the near side. Couldn't spot Carrasquilla, who was running through unmarked into the 18. That's given away. Baird, who's taking it back off the bench. Baird on his right! He's made it three! What an introduction for Corey Baird! He's doubled his season tally and certainly now put the game out of reach. They'll do it again in no time. These two sides are head-to-head -head Wednesday, June 14th. It's an MLS game for both. Here's Escobar. It's Escobar! It's in! Incredible! An exclamation mark of a goal! Franco Escobar! Jonis. Best spell of sport in Kansas City. Pressure yet. That's a good looking cross. And it's down. And first touch. First goal. More Mexican magic for sport in Kansas City. The lead here against Austin. And Kaiser Slatton with Alexander Ring. The Austin player who had to withdraw just before kickoff. Tommy's free kick. Oh, great service. Polino couldn't get there. But Castellanos caught. Robert Castellanos, the centre back, doubling the delights. KC cash in. It's KC and the Sunshine Band in the rain. Again, very efficiently worked. Leibold releasing his man. And then Polino.
tools. Alan Polito, the main man, the money man in Kansas City, and he is delivering. No confirmation yet. It's Fagundes trying to measure this corner. Headed down from Cascante! And so it's the Drew C and Austin have themselves a lifeline. Sebastian Drew C on target again against Sporting Kansas City. And there's still half an hour to go in this game. Dreams of another miraculous comeback, perhaps, starting to bubble for Austin. Not succumbing to internal or external pressures. A big part of his coaching resume is Shelton releases Tommy and Shelton, and this one will count. Kyrie Shelton, Austin born and bred, hammers the final nail into Austin's coffin in this one. It is a rout, and Sporting Kansas City, a surgeon. Good tracking back from Carlos Gruezo to win it back. Now there's room to roll. Cade Cow, ears pinned back, out into open space. Elliott trying to slide over defensively. Cal had to wait for some reinforcements, looking for help at the top. It's a Bowman D! And it happens that quick for San Jose! Give pressure to the hung give credit, excuse me, to the Hungarian. Gazdag for making sure it was tough to get out of there. In front and we're tied at one! It didn't take long, but Philadelphia are able to equalize through Damian Lowe, the Jamaican international. Set pieces can be game changers, and it's game on here in San Jose. Montero in the right spot. Gruezo will leave it out top. Troco! An absolute laser from the Peruvian and San Jose are back in front. But it's a Saturday. <laughs> Why not? What an unbelievable fan base they have. He has to go over the top. And that one flicked towards Golden! Acosta! A perfect rainbow! And it's 1-0 for the visitors. And there is the absolute piece of magic we come to expect from this player. Seven goals on the trot now. Seven goals in seven games. Absolutely brilliant. Just a couple of matches ago, Gall took that, scored that. He'll get another chance here to equalize. Gall versus Celentano. Yes! Tucked in for Vancouver. Coming late here. And John Keeney goes near post. What a connection! What a wonderful finish! Oh, that's a way to light up a game. And St. Louis lead going into the final quarter. I believe that was St. Louis. Oh, that's his position and can't see at the bottom. Costa, two in the middle. Aguirre's there. It's an equalizer for the Galaxy from the substitute with only five and a half minutes to play at City Park. In the week in which they've lost their talisman, their leader in Chicharito. He'll join Colombia for the upcoming international window with a friendly scheduled in Spain against Iraq, and then on to Gilsenkirchen to play Germany and a friendly. After that, Evander with the ball that flies over Chara, but it's a bullet header, and in the opening goal has finally come for 